what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install Multiman on your hand PS3 now keep in mind I've made a video before showing you guys how to install hand so if you don't know how to install hand go ahead and watch this video the link will be in the description also if you guys want to know how to play games using RetroArch make sure that you guys go ahead and watch this video the link will also be in the description alright also you sh you guys should pay attention to the warning message that the developers have gave us and it says warnings do not under any circumstances enable factory service mode on a PS3 with HEN connecting to PSN should be done at your own risk Disabling CFW syscall may not hide your hen file your hen while on PSN. A popular method used by CFW users may not be suited for hen users. Do not install CC API control console API. So make sure that you guys keep this in mind. Alright, so let's go ahead now and go over to the files okay guys so in my first video installing hen I told you guys that I'll show you guys how to install homebrews so I'll use this folder now inside here I have a couple of homebrews that I'm gonna be using I think I'm just gonna be using multiman okay because that's the most important one out there all these files are signed um, if you guys want these files let me know I will put links in the description as well okay so right here I have um, multiman and I also have monogon retro arc and webman if you want to use webman make sure that you copy this text file on your USB stick as well so this text file should always be on your USB if you are going to use webman okay but I'm gonna use multiman because that's the most important one so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna paste it on my USB stick let's go ahead and delete these from my previous video because we don't need these anymore okay so let's go ahead make sure that your USB stick is formatted to FAT32 just go ahead and paste it right there okay guys so now that we have copied over multiman signed PKG to our USB stick let's go ahead and eject our USB stick and head over to the PS3 okay guys so now that we're on the PS3 um, let's head over to the internet browser you can also do this part from your hand toolbox now you wanna press start and you wanna delete this go over to the PS3 exploit page then you want to go to um, V3 hand tools go down to hand enabler press X press X again you want to press triangle and you want to bookmark this that's it press circle and exit the browser if you have your hand toolbox with hand enabler you can easily use hand enabler from your hand toolbox okay so just go back in the internet browser all you have to do is enable hand it doesn't matter which method you use if it's your hand toolbox or if it's by the browser just go ahead and enable hand so press press the select button on your controller go down to hand enabler press X now you wanna enable hand okay go down to enable hand okay that's it close the browser as I mentioned before guys you can enable hand any way you feel like if it's the browser or by your hand toolbox go ahead and enable it in any way you want okay so we just enable hand so let's go down to package manager install standard and here is multiman so I'm gonna press X and install it 
okay multi-man has completed install press circle okay so here is multi-man guys before you try to run any homebrew on your ps3 make sure that you enable hen every time before you try to run one of the homebrews okay so if you install 10 homebrews on your ps3 you have to enable hen first before the homebrews work okay if you do not enable hen the homebrews will not work okay sometimes you have to enable hen two or three times before the homebrew will work if it doesn't work all you have to do is restart your ps3 and then enable hen once again and then the homebrew will work okay i hope you guys understand this all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna launch multiman and show you guys that it doesn't work because hen was not enabled and as you can see guys we get this error message because hen was not enabled so let's go up and enable hen press yes okay let's go down and try multiman now okay so as you guys can see we now get this message from multiman so go over to yes press yes again yes again and yes for the final time and there it is so let me just go ahead and turn this music down because I might get copyright and there it is guys multi-man loads up pretty well on our um, unexploited PS3 I can go to system settings show you guys right there let me just go ahead and put a game in and there is the game right here in multi-man guys so we can press triangle and we can um um, go to copy and we can copy it over to our USB stick or portable hard drive or copy the game over to our PS3 system I'll leave a video link in the description showing you guys how this is done because I've made a video about it before you can also press on um, select and start and it will take you right here on your PS3 you can go to PS3 root you can add um, all of your stuff right here and everything so that's it guys that's how you install multi-man on your han exploited ps3 let me just go ahead and quit this so that's it guys um remember any homebrew you install on your ps3 you should always enable hen first before trying to use that homebrew if you do not enable hen the homebrews will not work okay so if the video was helpful to you guys please give it a like also share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in my next video